Well, I'm, I'm Scott Stokely. I've been playing disc golf since 1982, PDJ number 3140. I started at the world's first course in Pasadena, California at Oak Grove Park and been playing pro since 85 and been on tour on the road from 93 to 2000. I won uh, 22 world and national titles uh, during that period and I set the Guinness World Record for the longest throw of a flying disc, which I rebroke in 95 and in 98. And in 2000, I set the record for the longest throw of a sidearm, which is still standing today. And um, then I took 14 years off. And I've come back to the sport recently. Uh, my, my body was starting to break down. I'd, I'd been on tour for eight years and was a little bit burnt out. Uh, but the biggest thing was my daughter was born and I wasn't going to be on the road. I wanted to be home to raise my daughter and uh, be in her life as much as possible. So um, absolutely don't regret the decision at all. But uh, last year, end of last year, beginning of this year, I had a, a really uh, down period in my life. Um, really hard, really hard personal times and I uh, was a bit lost to be honest. And I came back to, uh, cause I needed my family. So I came back and my, just like, you know, family, my family was here waiting for me. I, I walked into a store called Fly Green in Denver, Colorado. And uh, within two minutes I was being hugged and just welcomed back. And I was at league that night. And uh, yeah, a month later, Fly Green and myself started our own disc line. So uh, it's been a whirlwind, uh, quite a contrast from a year ago at this time. Fly Green and myself uh, started a, a new disc line called Fly High Discs. That we're out of Denver, Colorado. And uh, these are our first five original models. Uh, the Trainwreck, which is a slightly understable, super far flying driver. Uh, our AK-47, which is our, our putter. The Pure OG, which is a slightly understable mid-range disc, fast though, so it fast, doesn't tail off hard at the end. You know, pop it with a little bit of angle and gets up flat and, and keeps going straight. The uh, KGB, excuse me, the Pure, I apologize, the Pure OG is our slightly overstable driver. Uh, you want to throw it flat, it comes, uh, fades back overstable the whole way. The, the KGB is the slightly understable. You throw it a little bit of angle, it pops up flat, goes straight. Jack the Ripper, well, we're calling it a, a fairway driver, but it flies far, it flies straight. Uh, and we have our, our diesel coming out next week. That is going to be our overstable driver, a really fast overstable driver, and followed with another putter called White Widow a couple weeks after that. I got to design the discs by the standards that I wanted discs to be created by. And uh, for me, I grip uh, with a fan grip, always have. Uh, I'm dependent on friction for, for gripping the discs. Uh, if the disc isn't grippable, even if it's durable and, and looks good, I, I can't throw it. So I put uh, a lot of the time really early on into developing this really super grippable plastic. We call it the sticky, icky, icky plastic. Um, in my opinion, it's the most grippable plastic on the market right now. It's, I mean, it's, it's really, really good. And uh, it's also got some nice additives, proprietary additives that are uh, making it durable as well. But uh, the main emphasis was on the grip. I mean, this thing that grips, uh, I used to always have to rub my hand in the dirt when my hands got sweaty. I, I can throw these with sweaty hands. So I, I made discs for me. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm playing open. I'll play open in 2015 and 2025. Uh, I want to see where I fit in with the best in the world. And uh, I mean, hats off to everybody in all the other divisions, but I'm going to be playing open. Uh, I would rather get beat by the best uh, than finish in a different division. Just, just, that's just me. I plan on being the best in the world. Uh, I wouldn't be playing if I wasn't planning on that. Because a lot of people have asked me why uh, Discraft. I was with Discraft for so many years, and all I can say is that I love Discraft. Uh, Jim Kenner is my all-time favorite person in the, in the sport, hands down. He's like a father to me. I love him to death. I uh, love Discraft, love the new guys running the company. They put out great discs, just, just love them. Um, just, but it was time for a change. And so I went and I started working with uh, Dave McCormick and the guys at Gateway. And uh, they are just fantastic and we, we clicked well. And so every disc in my bag right now is Gateway. And uh, until these are legal, these are not legal yet. As soon as these are legal, every disc in my bag will be fly high. But so huge fans of Gateway, huge fans of what they do in their discs, huge fans of their, the steps they're taking towards making the sport safer. They're making some big leaps in that area. 
Uh, I'm uh, really proud of them for that. Um, sacrificing uh, their their financial bottom line to do what they think is best for the sport and to making it safer. So I really I really look up to them. Like I said, so nothing but love for Discraft, nothing but love for Gateway. Um, I hope I'm bigger than both of them real soon here, though. I, I fly high is my company for the. I plan on retiring with this company, so this is the last business I'm going to run. Taking taking my wonderful mid-range discs out of the equation, the Karma is the best disc I've ever thrown uh, from Gateway. It's, it's a mid-range disc, slightly overstable. Not sure why people haven't figured it out. I mean, it's it's phenomenal. I mean, the Wizard's so hot, the Wizard's so popular, the plastic's great. Um, I'm driving with the Illusion and the Assassin, but I, I love the Slayer as well. Um, I throw equal sidearm and backhand, so I'm not throwing a lot of straight shots. I throw a lot of hyzers one way or the other, so I stick more to overstables. That's what the Illusion's really good for. Uh, but I think the Illusion is just a brilliant disc. I, I, I'm not sure why. I think it's just so competitive, and I, I'm not sure why. It, it hasn't quite picked on or caught on the way it should. I think the Illusion's. It's a perfect disc, but the Karma is the one. If, is, is, just think that's the best mid-range disc I'd ever thrown. I want to say that I have my uh, my inspirations. My my little girl in Colorado, Gabby, and my muse is Jenny. Uh, these are my brushes, and I'm going to make art for you.